Hey everyone, my name is Mars, like the planet, and this is House Hormone. Today I'm going to be decluttering my closet and donating clothes that I am just not loving anymore or aren't fitting me right. I have been doing this decluttering series here on my channel that I will continue to link down below if you're interested. I have decluttered my bathroom as well as my cabinets, and today I am onto my closet. Now my closet does serve multiple purposes. You can see I have brooms hanging up, I do have cleaning supplies, I have my clothes as well as Christmas decorations. And when I say I have my clothes, I have all of my clothes. I do not have any dressers. I don't have any folded clothes. So that means yes, my pajamas are hung up on hangers. This just makes it easy for me to have all of my clothes in one space. They are all color coordinated and it just makes it easy for me to take inventory kind of of what I have and what maybe is not working for me. Now, if you can see my clothes are color coordinated and there's not a lot of color in here. I typically stick to neutrals. I like to wear a lot of blacks, whites, grays, and browns. It just makes it really easy for me to buy clothes and I kind of think of it like a uniform for myself so I only have a few pieces in here that have color to them mostly everything else is neutrals and honestly 99% of my bottoms are black so yeah it just makes it really easy like I said to get dressed in the mornings but there are some things in here that I'm just seeing that I'm not grabbing I'm not gravitating towards I'm not loving anymore so let's go ahead and get started okay so first I'm going to start with my shirts the first one I have is this pink boiler suit that is actually from Target. I absolutely love it. It is a jumpsuit that I got to wear to Disney World and I just think it is so fun and so cute. It's one of the only pink things I have in my wardrobe. Like I said, it is just really fun and cute um, to wear during the winter time if I have a special occasion or something like that that I just want to dress up for. Not in like a fancy way, but in like a fun way. This is something that I will grab and I have actually gotten a lot of use out of it. So yeah, this is definitely a keep. The next two things I have are purple shirts. I have this Alzheimer's shirt as well as a plain purple sweatshirt that I normally wear when it gets a little cooler. This one is from Walmart and this one I got on a walk for Alzheimer's. My grandmother passed away from Alzheimer's and it has her name on the back so I definitely want to keep these two. The next are two red things. I have two shirts that I wear. I graduated from UL here in Louisiana so I like to keep two shirts. One is a t-shirt and one is more of a baseball jersey. It says Louisiana and then on the back it says Rage and Cajuns which is our mascot. So I definitely keep these two wear to football games. Then going into my green, I have this tank top that I just picked up that says Beverly Hills um, Racket Club. I got this from Target and I just think it is so adorable. I love this deep like Kelly green and I've definitely gotten a, a lot of use out of it during the summertime. So this one is definitely a keep. This dress I actually thrifted and it is originally from Old Navy. It is just this green like tank dress. I think I'm gonna give it away. I love this dress and I love how I look in it, but it is getting a little stained. There are like threads coming off of it and I just think it's starting to look, I don't know, a little ratty. So I think I may try to find a different like similar style like tank dress, maybe in this like Kelly green color. I do think I enjoy this shade of green versus this shade of green. So this is my first giveaway. And my goal is not to get rid of like 90% of my clothes, it's just kind of to take inventory of what I have, what I'm liking and seeing if there's anything I do wanna get rid of. I'm not the type of person to kind of get rid of, you know, 80% of my clothes and then rebuy. I really want to keep what I have. Um, most of my clothing is thrifted or it's from Target or Walmart. Um, this next piece that I have is a halter top. Halter tops are one of my favorite because you don't need to wear a bra. It's kind of like a really nice sports bra. This one is ribbed. It is the first white shirt that I have that is from Target. Then I have a couple of shirts that I like to work out in. I have this shirt that says Officer Buckle and Gloria say to be safe, read and learn and I just think it's so precious and then I have this one that says cool cats and kittens and if you've seen Tiger King this is one of my favorite shirts like I said it is very dingy but I use it to work out in now we're getting into shirts that I like to wear to work. I have this one that has just a little V in the middle. This one is from Old Navy. This is a nice like just beige plain shirt. And then I have this sweater vest that I absolutely adore. This is a white sweater vest with just a black stripe around. And I actually think I got this one from Shein. I'm not suggesting you support Shein, but I did get it from there. Next, I have just a simple white button down. This is just great in the summertime for layering. Um, if I'm going to the beach, if I'm going to the pool or if I just need something to put over a dress, this one is just a great layering piece. After that, I have a long sleeve like cream colored shirt that I got from Old Navy as well, that's a keep. 
And then these I am going to get rid of. This is a dress that I got from Target and it is kind of polka dotted. I do like it, but every time I wear it, I don't feel the best in it. I don't know why, but I'm just not like loving it. So I'm going to get rid of it. The next one I'm going to get rid of as well. This is another sweater vest. And as you can see, it is very stained. I don't know when it was in the wash, it just got like super stained and dingy. Can you like see that? And unfortunately I'm going to have to give it away cause I just could not save it. This is like a cover up or like camisole. I don't know what to call it. Um, it's a, or like, I think they used to be called kimonos, but I really don't like to call them that. It is just a cover up that I think I got from Walmart and it's just out of style. It's really not my style anymore. I used to wear this over dresses and I'm just not crazy about these lace like cover ups. So I am going to give this one away. The next three shirts are for winter time. This is a nice, just plain white sweater that I'm keeping. And then I have not one, but two white turtlenecks. I just think they're good for layering. I definitely think in the winter time, I'm using these way more. Sometimes I will layer them under a sweatshirt or under my vest. Um, so I definitely have to pick up two just because I do think one is a little bit more dingy than the other. I think you can kind of see when I hold it up to the light that it has some like sweat staining which is kind of embarrassing to show, but I do keep this just for layering when it gets cold so no one's really seeing it. These are the last two of my white shirts. I just have a white like tank that I got from uh, Target. This one is just another good, just basic to have. And then I have this shirt that I got from Target as well. It is a button up. This one I'm not crazy about because it always needs to be ironed. And for some reason, I'm not good with ironing clothes. I don't know. I just think the collar is always like wrinkled and I do like this shirt, but I am contemplating getting rid of it. I have tried to style it and I do like it when I wear it, but I don't know. I think I may keep it for now, but I'm just not sure what to do with like clothes that just need ironing all the time. I know you can put them in the dryer, but like when I'm ready to go and get dressed, I'm ready to go and get dressed, not take 20 minutes to put my clothes in the dryer. So this one, I guess I'll just keep it for now. These two are very similar. I have another like checkered sweater vest. I like that it's black on the back. So this one kind of reads more black than it does white. And then I have this one that I just picked up from Shein. Once again, I do not advertise like supporting them or anything, but I did buy this and it's just a knit little crochet like top. It does unbutton so I can layer this or just wear it by itself. I think this is just so fun and like beachy. I really, really love this top. The next one I have, I'm going to be giving away. It has a little tie with it, but it's kind of like a utility vest. And I just think it's just not my style anymore. It's really nice to layer during the winter time. I used to wear like a white turtleneck and then layer this over top, but I don't know. I don't wear it as much anymore. And I do think it's a little bit out of style. The next one is another basic little like sweater or cardigan. I do just wear this as a shirt, even though it can be unbuttoned. It's this nice like burnt orange color. Um, so I really do like wearing this to work. The next one is a dress. This is a like chocolatey brown dress. I really do love this shade of brown. I do like the richness of it. I don't like very like muted or faded browns. The same with that green shirt I told you, I showed you earlier. I just like richer colors. I think it just looks more expensive, I guess. I think when they're faded, it just looks a little like from 2014. It does have a little tie on the side just to make it more interesting than a regular t-shirt dress but this one is super easy to wear and just throw on. The next one I'm going to be giving away, this is from Old Navy and I really do like it. It's that chocolate brown color that I like and I really did like it. It has a little collar, but I don't know. It just looks a little like dingy. Every time I wear it, it just doesn't look as put together as I think it does. I think it's because it's missing like the quarter zip maybe that I'm looking for. So this like collar is just like, I don't know, it's just really floppy looking. So I think I'm going to be giving it away. Even though I really did like it, I... I just don't gravitate towards it. Next, I have a couple of tank tops. I have one in a chocolate brown color that I like, and then one in a tan color. Uh, I think these are both from Old Navy. I really do like buying from Old Navy because they always have sales and they are super size inclusive. This one is also from Old Navy, but I did find it at the thrift store. It's a really nice shirt to wear to work. It is kind of this cream camel color and it is ribbed and then it has this nice collar and it's really thick too. So I do really like the shirt. The next one is just another tank. I really do like the rib knit texture of like shirts. I don't know. I just think it looks a little bit more like put together, I guess. So I have one in this tan color. Next, I have two more workout shirts. These are just some t-shirts that I have that are in gray. I only have a few more shirts to get through. I have all of my black shirts and then we are going to move on to pants. 
I have the same halter top I showed you earlier in black. Once again, I absolutely love this. It is from Target. It is so easy to throw on during the summer and I just love the way it looks on me. Next, I have this shirt from Target that has Ice Cube on the front. And this was one of my favorite t-shirts, but I'm going to give it away just because the neck has just gotten so like droopy. This shirt is not as structured as I would like. And every time I wear it, I just feel like I don't look as put together. I look like I'm wearing a pajama shirt. So I'm going to get rid of it. I have another dark gray sweater that I picked up on sale from Target. And I have not worn this yet, so I'm obviously going to keep it. I have a shirt that my mom gave me that says, my black is beautiful, so I'm keeping that. One of my favorite thrift store finds, I have this holiday sweater. It is just so adorable and cute. And it has a little stocking on the back. Like how precious is this? I got so much use out of this when I went to Disney World, as well as during the holidays, I wore it almost like every single day. Then like the white one, I have a black turtleneck. I have a black version of this top. These are both the same tops, just in a different color. I also have this like muscle tee that I got from Target, which is just another great basic to have. And then one of my favorite thrift store finds, I found this button down shirt. Oh my God, look at the stains from my deodorant. That is so embarrassing. I have to fix that, pretend you didn't see it. But it's this nice like, but that is so embarrassing. Oh my God, don't look. Um, but it's this nice like button down shirt that I found that I cropped and on the back, it says legendary Louisiana barbecue. I'm from Louisiana, I live in Louisiana. So I just thought this shirt was just so cute. I just think it's really cute. It's like cropped at the bottom and it has like this frayed hem. I just love this shirt. I think it's really like masculine. I just, I just really like it, but this is so embarrassing. Oh my God. One of the last shirts I have is my Halloween shirt. It just says squad ghouls and this is from Walmart. Then I have a black dress that I like to wear. This is kind of like my going out little black dress. And then I have a romper. This is the only romper that I've kept from like 2014, but once again, it's black, it's in my color scheme and it has flowers on it. It's just very easy to throw on and it doesn't really have like a loud print. So these two are a keep. So those are all of my shirts all done. Now let's move on to pants. I feel like a presenter. I feel like I'm on like, jeopardy or will of fortune um as you can see all of my pants are black except two i have one pair of shorts that i just got from target that are a pair of blue jeans that i love they're a little wrinkled but i absolutely love wearing these and i do have this like plaid checkered brown skirt that i definitely wear to work other than that i have all black bottoms um i don't know why i just kind of gravitated towards it but i just think it makes it super easy to get dressed you might think it's boring but it makes it very efficient to get dressed so i will just quickly show you because i'm not getting rid of any of my pants i am five foot ten i am plus size i wear a size 16 18 so it's kind of difficult sometimes for me to find pants that actually fit me the way i like so when i find them i buy multiples and i keep them for a long time so like I showed you, I do have this pair of denim shorts that I got from Target that I absolutely love. I have another pair of denim shorts from Target that are an Ava and Viv line. I have a shorter pair of black shorts that I think are from Walmart. These I really don't wear out. I just kind of like throw on and go. I have some black bike shorts that I like to just throw on if I'm going to grocery shop or I'm going to work out. I have a black skort that I just love. It is a little wrinkled. That is the only thing. Remember I said I don't like ironing. So this one's a little annoying, but I love having a skort. I love having something that has shorts underneath. It's just super easy to wear. I don't have to worry about my butt being out or anything. I already showed you this brown skirt. And then I have one, two pairs of black jeans. These jeans are from Old Navy. Um, and I absolutely love them. I have a pair of them on right now. So yes, I have three pairs of black jeans. I also have a like linen pair of pants these have a drawstring they're really wide and flowy so if I just want that like easy breezy I'm on the beach in Greece type feeling I definitely pull for these I have a pair of joggers joggers excuse me joggers it's more lifestyle a pair of joggers that are originally from Old Navy but I did find them at the thrift store they do have an elastic waistband and they do have like the elastic at the bottom i have this like ribbed knit skirt it has a little like lettuce hem at the bottom if you can see that but i absolutely love this skirt i think like these long like maxi skirts are really on trend right now so i do like that i found one from the thrift store and then all of these are leggings i love to have a bunch of leggings when it gets cold here in louisiana sometimes all i want to do is wear a large shirt and some leggings when i'm going out i'm putting on leggings when i'm going to the gym i'm putting on leggings when it's 
it's chilly out and I just want to put a hoodie on, I'm putting on leggings. So I do have a bunch of leggings and just like athletic leggings. Some are more the material that you would wear to like work out and some are more of a cotton material. But I do have a bunch just because like those weeks when I'm just like not feeling like getting dressed, I definitely want to have a bunch so I'm not washing the same pair over and over. I also have a pair of black overalls that are from Target as well that I absolutely adore. I always said I'd be the type of person that would never wear a pair of overalls till I found this black pair. I just think they're really cute. I don't think I'd, I could ever do like the denim version and look like a farmer, but I think these are really cute. And like I said, they're long enough for my long legs. So they are definitely a key. Next, I'm gonna go through all of my bathing suits. So my bathing suits are at the back of my closet back here. Um, I am gonna be keeping most of them, but there, I think there is one that I do wanna give away. So I have these two bathing suits. I have this lavender one that's a two piece that I picked up from Goodwill. And I don't think there's anything wrong with buying bathing suits that can hand. I mean, you, you clean them and they're fine. Um, and then I have this green bathing suit that is a one piece. I kinda think, am I gonna give this away? No, I think I'm gonna keep it. I really don't go to the beach like that much. Um, but I am going to give away this bathing suit. That's a horrible view of it, but it's basically a two piece and it has these like ribbon ties on it. And I just don't like them. Like, I think it makes me look like a child. It doesn't make me look grown and sexy at the beach. Um, I got this from Walmart and I'm just not loving it. Every time I put it on, I'm just like, yeah, girl, you look like a little child. So these are the bottoms. And then this is the top. It's like a nice little like bralette, but see these ties? I think they make me look childish. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then the last bathing suit I have is this purple one. It is just a simple little purple one piece bikini. This was actually my grandmother's, which sounds like so weird to say, but it was, and I'm just gonna keep it because it's purple. And like I said, my grandmother passed away from Alzheimer's and the ribbon for Alzheimer's is purple. So purple I'm just gonna keep it just I don't know every time I wear it I'm like cute and fun at the beach thinking of my grandma I don't know it might be kind of weird but yeah keeping this one so the last thing I need to go through are all of my jackets and I kind of think I'm gonna keep them all from looking at them but I'm just gonna go through and just kind of double check and show you. I do have a lot of jackets. Cause like I said, when it gets cold in Louisiana, I love to layer. I think it just like sets a look off to add like a really nice jacket. So let's go through them. So I have this black hoodie right here that just says WGI. I did color guard in high school and in college. So I just have a nice simple black hoodie. I also have this quarter zip that has a stain on it. So I don't know if I should keep it like, I feel like when I'm running errands, I just need something like quick and easy to put on. And this one's super easy to put on, even though it has like a stain. Like, do you think people at Walmart care about my stain? I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep it. Cause like, they don't care about that. I also have this like knit cardigan that I wear to work that also has a stain on it. I don't know, for some reason my washing machine hates me and like all of my light colored clothes end up getting like stains on them and I have to get rid of them. But this cardigan's like, okay, but I do wear it to work. And I feel like it just looks really bad and unprofessional when you like wear clothes that have stains on them to work. Am I gonna give it away? I think I should give it away. Bye girl. The next one I have is a gray sweatshirt. This is from my college. I do like to keep this um, just cause once again, it's a good layering piece. I have two flannels because what is a queer person without their favorite brown flannels? These are both from Shein. Once again, I do not support them. I have a quintessential denim jacket. I have an even more quintessential leather jacket that I love. It's kind of hard to see, but this one is from Wild Fable. It's from uh, Target and it's cropped, it's cute, it's nice. It's just a really nice piece to wear when you're trying to look a little put together when it's cold out. The last hoodie I have is this dark like speckled gray and it says New Orleans Saints on the front from Louisiana, who that nation. I have this pea coat that I got from the thrift store, I think for like $2. And because it was $2, I just don't want to give it away. I think it looks a little bit more professional than wearing a hoodie. So like if I have to go to work, I don't want to be wearing a hoodie to work. So I do kind of pull this out when it gets cold. And then if I want to look even nicer, I have this checkered fur coat that I got from Shein. Once again, we don't sport, but I have this one from Shein and 
I think I'm gonna keep it. I just think it's really cool looking. I don't really wear it that often, but I just think it's so cool. Like, I don't know, imagine me like in New York. I never go to New York, but imagine me like in New York with like this on, like I like the brown, it's neutral. So I just think I'm gonna keep it. Cause I feel like the second I get rid of it, I'm gonna have a reason to wear it. And then the last coat I have is my puffer jacket. I just got this from a friend. I actually didn't even buy this. So I don't think it'd be right if I gave it away. Um, but I actually just wore this to Seattle. It's just a typical puffer jacket. I'm not sure where it's from. I think it's, it's from Old Navy. Our girl Old Navy pulls through again. The last two things that I know I'm getting rid of is unfortunately my hats. I have this bucket hat that I used to wear to the beach a lot. And then I have this like ear muff thing. It kind of like goes around your ears to like keep you warm in the winter. I do not wear this one at all because it's never cold enough for ear muffs. But this one unfortunately is too small for my head now because I have locks. It just does not fit on my head. So I am going to be getting rid of this one. And with that, I am done. I'm not going to be going through my pajamas because I'm going to wear all of those. But these are all the clothes we got rid of and honestly i really think that's a good amount of clothes to get rid of and to donate like i said i am not the type of person to just purge my entire closet i really want to keep the things that i'm buying and that i'm purchasing but i also want to be mindful when something's not working for me i don't want to just like keep it in my closet forever but yeah that does it for today's video i am officially done decluttering the clothes in my closet so i can check that off of the list. Um, I'm trying to think of what I might declutter next. Um, if you have any ideas of what you're decluttering, please let me know down below. But I post new videos every single Wednesday, so I will see you guys next week. Bye. Hey everyone, my name is Mars, like the planet, and this is Housewarming. Today I'm gonna to be decluttering and deep cleaning my bathroom. Once a year, I kinda of like to go through, go through all of my stuff. And since starting my log journey, I know I have a ton of stuff that I used to use when I was a loose natural um, that I have been holding on to and I know I'm not gonna use them anymore, so it's time to get rid of them. Now, as you can see, my bathroom is not that dirty. It, I, I'm really good at like keeping my bathroom clean. I just know I have a ton of stuff in these cabinets and down below that I just need to go through. And of course, I wanted to show you guys the process and kind of take you guys along with me. Before we get into the video, I just wanna remind you that when you subscribe, when you like, when you comment on my video, it really helps push the video out to other people on YouTube. So that definitely helps so i just want to remind you guys to subscribe um but yeah let's get into it okay so the first plan of attack or plan of action i'm going to do is go through this cabinet right here now i really don't have any like i guess i do have some organization but like i said i kind of need to pull everything out and go through everything and then uh, we can see like one by one what i have so starting at the top i just have a lot of like taller hair products so you can see i have like shampoo and conditioner i have the spray bottle that i use for my hair this is kind of like hair stuff so my hair scarves my brushes and like things i put in my hair like hair ties and things like that down here are things I use every day. So you can see I have like my deodorant and stuff. I have like my moisturizer and then I have a bunch of hair stuff. But I kind of want to go through it and just make sure that everything in here belongs in here. So let's take it all out. Okay, so starting at the top, this one is like all of my taller hair products. And then I have my spray bottle that I use to like spray my locks. Okay, so I have shampoo, I have conditioner, I have another thing of shampoo and then I have two bottles of 30 volume developer. I do dye my hair myself. Um, I also have some hairspray. I have some heat protectant and then I have some Nair. Okay, so first of all, I know right off the bat, I'm not gonna need this hairspray anymore. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I have locks now, so I'm not using the hairspray. Um, the next thing I know I can get rid of is this uh, heat protectant for um, flat ironing flat ironing your hair. I'm not gonna need that anymore either because I'm done flat iron my hair um, The next two things so I Don't really use conditioner anymore because you're not supposed to put conditioner. Oops You're not supposed to put conditioner in your locks. So I really have not had a use for this But I have started mixing my hair dye with conditioner to kind of dilute it a little bit So I'm going to hold on to it just because I know that I do have a use for it so I'm gonna put that back in there. And then the shampoo is still good. And then these two bottles of 30 volume developer, these are something like I have always had with me just because I am always dyeing my hair. Um, I like to keep my hair red, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. 
and then this nair i use solely just to do my eyebrows i know that may sound a little weird i really can't handle like tweezing my brows i can't handle like getting them threaded or anything this is like the most painless way i just paint it on and then wipe it off um so yeah i'm gonna keep this nair and that is the first bin done okay so i'm gonna pull down the next three bins all together um and these kind of look a little crazy oh i can put this spray bottle back too because i know i use that every day okay so this first one is like hair scarves so i have like my bonnet for sleeping i have another one i have two bandanas and i have a couple other hair scarves and i use all of these so i'm gonna keep those in here i have my comb i have a brush i have a toothbrush for styling my baby hairs i have a parting comb this is in here because I use it to wipe my glasses and it honestly shouldn't be in here. I think I might, go, might just put it in here because it's kind of like with the fabric. So I might put that in there. Then I have two hair ties that I need to go over here. And then I have a pair of scissors and a lonely clip. So first of all, I think I can get rid of my brush, which is kind of weird to say, but like I'm never going to brush my hair again. So I think this can go. Like I don't know anybody else who would want a brush, so I can get rid of that. This comb as well. Do I really, I don't think I'm like, do I have anything I need to comb? It kind of feels weird getting rid of like quintessential hair products because now that I have locks, I'm just like, I, I keep thinking of like, but what if I, I don't know. So I think I can get rid of a comb. And honestly, if I need a new comb, I could just go buy one. So all I have left is this rat tail comb, which I do need. And then my brush uh, to do my edges. And then these scissors, they're honestly not mine, but I don't know the last time I've used them. So I'm just gonna get rid of them. Okay, so I can put these, uh, I can put these back in here and then I can put, this kind of looks sad. Like, do I really need a basket for just two? Maybe I'll think about that later. Um, and then lastly, I have all my hair stuff. Um, I pretty much use all of these, but let me just go through this right quick. So I have this ribbon and I don't really tie it in my hair very often, but sometimes I'm feeling like fun and flirty. So I just like to keep it as an option. Um, and then I have like a smattering of just hair ties that I know I'm going to use. I have a few um, claw clips that I use. These I wore to Comic-Con and I know I'm never going to wear them again. So honestly, I can just get rid of them. They were for a special occasion. At the bottom, I have a bunch of hair clips that I used to use when I had a loose natural hair, but I really don't wear them anymore. And it always like freaks me out getting rid of like such cute things. Cause like, look how cute these little clips are. But I'm just like, I haven't worn them. I really don't know when I'm gonna wear them again. They don't hold my locks in place. Like I should just get rid of them. Um, even the backs are like all green and stuff. Like I should just get rid of them, but it just like makes me sad. So I guess I will. I'll take these out. I just bought these honestly yesterday, but they look really cute in my hair. They're just small like butterfly clips. So I'm definitely keeping those. And then all of these hair ties I need cause I always need a hair tie. But all of these clips, I think can go just because I'm really not using them. Like they're just so freaking cute, but I'm not really wearing them. And I kind of like forcing myself to wear them and I really don't like how I look anymore. So those can go. So that's good to go. Okay, so the last level is kind of like products I use every day, I guess. Um, these are the hair products I use every day. So we're, I think these are good. Like I really don't have anything in here that I need to get rid of. Um, in here, I just have the stuff that I use for my lock. So I have like my edge wax. I have my clips uh, when I do my retwist. I have my gel for my retwist. And then this is actually a leave-in conditioner. I really don't have a lot left, but I do use it when sometimes my hair might smell a little bad. I'll kind of dilute this with some water and it just kind of makes my hair smell good. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing that, but I don't know. I just use it because this is a really good product. It's quite expensive and I want to use it up, but I'm almost done with it. And then I just have rubber bands um, also as well that I, I use sometimes for different lock styles. Um, I do have... A little bit of foam wrap lotion left I'm just gonna use the little bit of this and then I'll probably get some more at the store and so I really don't have to get rid of anything in here and here is kind of like my everyday type of stuff like you can see I have my deodorant stuff like that this lotion has been sitting in here for quite some time and I don't know I just I feel weird getting rid of lotion I don't know so I guess I can put this someplace else, but I really don't use this lotion because it's all the way in the back. So I, I think I can get, like move that, get rid of it. This um, cologne, it's not even mine. 
And then I have coconut oil. This coconut oil, I used to put in my hair a lot, but I actually use it to get rid of my makeup at night. Um, if you don't know, you can use coconut oil to kind of break down your makeup and then wipe it off. But I kind of have makeup remover now, so I really don't need this coconut oil, but I think I might put this in the kitchen because sometimes we use it to uh, cook with when we make dog food for my dog. Then this is my facial moisturizer. It's just like the Equate moisturizing cream. I keep that in there. I, I don't put it with the rest of my face stuff just because it can't fit in the drawer. So I just put it in here because it's kind of big. I have petroleum jelly, which I use every day. Um, sometimes I use it on my lips. I also use it on my feet. Um, I have very like dry feet. So I put it like petroleum jelly on my feet and then I put socks on. And then next I have my deodorant. Um, I never thought about this, but because I wear so much black clothing, I always get deodorant streaks on it. And so if you've been like trying to avoid that, I would suggest getting an ultra clear deodorant. This is from Degree, but it's for black and white clothing. And it kind of just prevents like the white marks as well as the yellow marks on your clothing from deodorant. So I like love this stuff. Um, and then also I have um, two things of tea tree oil. Sometimes I will mix this with water to spray in my hair. This is obviously just a re-up. I also have a perfume. This is black opium that I'm keeping in here. And then that is everything out of this basket. So that is everything uh, done in this cabinet down here. Um, it's actually supposed to be like a laundry hamper. I really don't have a use for anything down here. It's like my plunger and like my toilet brush and then I have like a random mirror. Um, but yeah, everything in here is fine, but it's really supposed to be like, this is supposed to open so you can put your laundry in it, but it's so tiny. I don't even have a laundry hamper that'd be that small, but this section is all organized now. I do think I got rid of quite a few things. Now we're going to move to the cabinets underneath my sink. Okay. So under the cabinet, um, I have quite a few things. So first of all, in here, I really don't have much. I have Q-tips and I have cotton balls and then I have, that's where all oh, my like extra. So like extra toothbrushes, extra deodorant. I just put the tea tree oil in there. So this one's not too bad, but I am going to go through there just to make sure um, everything is in here that's supposed to be in here. And then in here, I have my makeup that I can probably go through and take out. And here I have all my like daily stuff. So I have like my toothpaste, my like facial cleanser that I use every day, my sunscreen. I also have a couple of makeup palettes. So let's go through those. Also look how freaking dirty this is. Like, can you see that? Can you see how dirty this is? This one's even worse. Like this is disgusting. Like this, honestly, I need to clean this out before I put anything back in here because this is so disgusting. So let's go through my extras first. I have extra toothbrushes. I have another extra toothbrush that I got from the dentist. These are my extra glasses. Um, I have some Windex wipes. They like wipe the mirror off. Um, this is the extra deodorant. I have a ton of razor blades, like disposable razor blades. I have that tea tree oil I just showed y'all. I have extra toothpaste and I have floss. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is everything that is in here, I can probably just keep in here. I think the toothbrush I'm gonna put back in its little like pack. I'm gonna put back in its pack like that. And then I think I'm actually gonna take this one out and put it in the pack. You can see there's like an extra spot right here. So I'm just gonna put that in here. Okay, so it's back with his family. All of these disposable razor blades, I hate how this like looks. So I'm just gonna like take them out the package and I'm going to do the same with this one. I have a ton of floss for some reason. So I have my toothbrush, toothpaste. I also know that over here in this bin, I have a ton of floss. Why is this sticky? This is, ew, what is going on? Hold on a second. Okay, so for some reason, my floss is sticky. I don't know what spilled, but honestly, all of my floss can go with the rest of the floss. Okay, that's not gross anymore. Doesn't look pretty, but these are all my extras. In here, where I had all my like face stuff, let me wipe this out. This is like so sticky. I don't know like what spilled, even on the bottom, ew. See, this is why I like to go through my stuff because like I would have no idea this was like a mess. Anyways, so this is stuff I use every single day. So this is my foaming facial cleanser. This sugar scrub, I like wanted to love and use, but like Honestly, these kind of exfoliants really aren't that great for you anyway, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And then I have my sunscreen. Make sure you're applying your SPF every single day, even if you're black, even if you're African-American, you should be wearing sunscreen. Then I have my vitamin C oil, and then I have my toothpaste. 
Okay, so in here I have some of my makeup. This is all of my makeup. This is the best way I found I can organize it. Obviously, it's a little dirty, so I'm going to go through and kind of wipe it all off. It still has some staining, but it looks a whole heck of a lot better. So now I'm going to put everything back in here. And this is just makeup brushes, mascara, lip gloss, my uh, gel eyeliner, a razor, and some eyebrow scissors. In here, I have my two beauty blenders, which are obviously looking disgusting. Um, and then I have a pair of eyelashes. Now, the problem is that I, I, I like these eyelashes, but I'm not a big eyelash wearer. Like I don't even have eyelash glue and these are kind of big. Um, I got these as like a gift, but I know I'm not gonna wear them. So I'm just gonna get rid of them. Okay, so next I have my foundation and my concealer, which are always a keep. I have a lip pencil and a pencil sharpener. I really don't use this as often, only when it's like special occasions, but I'm still gonna keep it because I do like this color. I have my different powders. And then I have this very sad highlighter. This highlighter has been looking like this for almost a year. It is still holding on. Yes, I have hit pan. Yes, I could probably buy another one, but it's still, it's still working. I can still get a little bit of product out of this. So I'm gonna keep it. So obviously I am keeping my makeup, my eyeshadow, I mean. I also have this other palette. I really don't use it that much, but I still like the colors. This is by Juvia's Place. I don't really use it that often, but I still like it and I still wanna keep it. And then I'm gonna put in my everyday skincare routine. So all of my extras can go back under here and then we can move on to the last set of cabinets. So over here I have quite a bit of stuff it is quite organized but i really need to just pull everything out this is everything that was underneath my cabinets and it is quite a bit of stuff and i can explain first of all i have a bunch of hair rollers that i know i can just get rid of because i'm not going to need them for my hair i have a bunch of flexi rods and this was actually for a halloween costume i have all of my earrings in here I have my makeup travel cases for when I'm flying. So this is exactly what it looks like. It is a box full of feminine hygiene products. This is a bunch of pads and panty lighters. My friend actually had a bunch of them she wasn't using, so I just took them. In here I have my hair tools, I have my blow dryer, as well as my flat iron. In here I have some more miscellaneous hair products that I don't really use like that, like bleach. Um, I have some uh, like hair mask. And then over here, I have all of my nail stuff. I need to really go through that and organize that. And then I just have some random bleach. So let's just start going through this. So I think the easiest thing to get rid of first are these hair rollers. I'm literally never going to use them again. So I'm just going to set these aside and then I can either give them to someone or I can just like donate them. So that was easy. Next, you already know I'm keeping all of these. Next, I have all of my jewelry and this may look a bit chaotic of a way to store your earrings, but I just like laying them flat. I do have a couple things I can get rid of. These earrings, although they are very cute, I never wear them. This is a bracelet that my grandmother gave me, but she passed away and this bracelet is actually broken. It is a tennis bracelet. It is very beautiful, but it's broken and I'm never gonna get it fixed. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I have a couple of rings that do not fit my finger. Everything else I basically wear on a daily basis. I know it is a bit chaotic, but this is kind of how I like to store my earrings so they can lay flat. Next are my hair tools. This uh, blow dryer I've had for quite some time. I use it all the time to blow dry my hair. Um, and then this 
flat iron I've had for quite some time as well but like I said since I have locks I'm never going to be flat ironing my hair again so I can just give this away the next thing I need to do is go through all of my nail stuff I have stuff on my fingernails as well as my toes because um I like to do my pedicures and manicures at home I have quite a bit of product but I just need to go through it because it looks a bit of a mess I see if I need to have my hand so first of all, I know I can organize my press-on nails. I do like press-ons. These are press-ons actually right here. Um, it's just a lot cheaper than going to the uh, nail salon every other week. So I'm just going to take these out and then I'm going to combine these two baggies together. I also have these press-on nails right here that I just have on my fingers. So now all my nails are together. Um, I actually think I'm going to put my nail polish in here as well. And then I also got a little set of like um, pedicure stuff. So like I have like a file, I have like the little thing that goes in between your toes. I actually came in this box and then I never put it like back in the box. So honestly, since I know where all of this stuff goes, I just need to put it back where it belongs. So all these stuff can go in here. So perfect. Then I have some like random dental tools. I really don't know what to do with this, but I'm just gonna put it in there. I have my nail polish. I also have the thing for my toes. I honestly don't use this, so I can kind of get rid of it. And then I have my nail polish remover. This is an extra, so I'm gonna put it down at the bottom with the rest of my extras. So that's gonna go in there. And so this looks way better and like way more organized. Okay, the last area is this bin. This is just extra stuff um, that maybe can't fit in my little thing of extras. This is bleach. This is um, benzonite healing clay. Remember this was like super popular. I have not used this in forever. And honestly, I can just like throw it away because I'm never gonna use this. I have some extra like hair dye. This is just when I wanna like refresh my color. I have an extra bag. I like to keep little baggies because you never know when you're gonna need them or when you're traveling, you might need them. And then this is some other like medication that honestly can go in my medicine cabinet so I can take this out. And then for some reason, the bottom is sticky. So I need to clean that out. I have this bleach. Um, I really don't use it. I use it once and I really didn't like it. I like the Wella a lot better. So this can go. So I'm gonna put my bleach and my hair stuff back in and that is everything in there. Lastly over here, I just have my travel stuff. This is just whenever I'm traveling, I can put my makeup in here. I think I'm going to put the little baggies in here as well. I have like my little travel bottles and then I'm gonna put my baggies. Also, if you're wondering why I have the Shein bag, sometimes I just keep them just because like I said, it's good to organize. And with that, I have gone through everything else in my bathroom. So I'm just gonna put everything back where it goes. So I think this is looking way better. Like I said, I have my earrings, I have my nail stuff, and then I have my hair tools, my sanitary napkins, and my hair stuff. So this is all of the stuff that I was able to get rid of. I think that this is quite a bit of stuff saying I have not gone through this stuff in a year or so. Um, but like I said, some of this stuff I'm going to be able to donate and other stuff I'm just gonna throw away. Like this face scrub, I've already used it. So I don't think it's sanitary to give it to. So that does it for today's video. Um, I am going to be actually cleaning this bathroom. If you would like to see that video, please let me know down below. And if there's any other areas of the house that you want me to declutter or you'd like to see, I am open to suggestions. Just make sure you leave it down below. Below. I post new videos every single Wednesday and thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hey everyone, my name is Mars, like the planet, and this is Housewarming. Today I'm going to be deep cleaning my living room. Now I already made a video a couple of weeks ago decluttering my bathroom and today I'm focusing on the living room. Obviously the space is not dirty, but once a year around this springtime, you know, I like to spring clean every single one of my areas and I like to break it up. I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours trying to tackle the entire house because I think that can be quite overwhelming. I like to take it one space at a time. So today I'm going to be taking the cover off of the sofa and washing those. I'm going to be dusting and cleaning off all the surfaces as well as dusting the fan. I'm also going to be washing the windows inside and out and then giving our plants a drink. So I hope you find this video very helpful and gives you some motivation. Um, I hope that you are up cleaning with me. If not, that is perfectly fine. Remember to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment of the videos you'd like to see next. I have an entire playlist dedicated to cleaning motivation so you are welcome to check out those after and let's get into the video.
Okay, so I have all of the cushion covers in the wash right now. I have dusted off the fireplace and the mantle, and I've also dusted off right here where our TV is. What would you call these, like sideboards? I've dusted those off as well. Now I'm going to focus on washing the windows. I like to wash the windows probably once a year. Um, I'm just gonna be using soap and water and then Windex. And to make sure your windows are actually clean, you actually need to wash the inside of the window and the outside. So I am gonna be going outside to wash those windows. So I'm gonna be getting these two right here and this one over here. So all of the windows are clean. I just used Windex on the inside and then I took a bucket of warm water and soap and a squeegee and just washed the outside. A lot of times when they, you know, cut the grass outside, some of the grass can kind of blow um, on the window. So I wiped that off as well as bugs and dead critters. And there was some lichen growing at the bottom that I like to get off as well. But yes, yeah, so so all of the windows are clean now. I have dusted off all of the surfaces. The living room is kind of looking a hot mess, but I'm going to now dust the ceiling fan. Then I'm going to vacuum and put everything all back together. Are you helping? Are you helping me? Thank you. You're such a big help. Thank you so much.
Okay, so we are almost at the finish line. All I have to do is put the cushion covers back on the cushions and then I have to water the plants and we are all done. We cleaned this room from top to bottom and so I'm super happy about how satisfying it was. I feel like the room just feels a little lighter, feels a little fresher. But yeah, those are the last two things we have to do and then we are all done. So we are all done. We have everything put back together. We have the sofa cover cushions back on the sofa. I have all of this dusted off right here. I have my wax warmer going, smelling good. I have everything wiped off. I made sure to dust the mirror and clean off the mantle. I have the floors all vacuumed. I even uh, took the time to wipe down the fireplace as well as the door. There were some bugs that had gotten in. I walked off. I wiped off all of the window sills and washed off the windows outside. And with that, we are all done. Oh, lastly, I forgot I dusted off the fan as well. So with that, we are all done. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. And I will see you in the next one on Wednesday. Bye, everybody. Hey everyone, my name is Mars, like the planet, and this is Housewarming. I am continuing my spring cleaning series and I am going to be decluttering the cabinets behind me. Now I understand it is not spring anymore, but I am just taking my time. I don't wanna get overwhelmed because I feel like when you start getting overwhelmed with cleaning projects, it just makes you wanna quit and then you never do it again and you have horrible feelings about it. So I am taking my time. I will link down all of my cleaning videos down below if you are interested. I have an entire playlist devoted to all of the cleaning that I have done over the years but today I am tackling these cabinets behind me for the very first time. Now they are not overflowing with anything but they do need a little bit of reorganization and I really do want to go through them and see what is inside of them. These cabinets came with the home. They are built-ins and because I do not have a pantry they kind of serve as a pantry for me. They kind of serve as a closet for me. I have a plethora of things in here so let's just jump into it. Okay so let's go one by one and see what is in all of these cabinets. So right here in the first cabinet, you can see that we have um, toilet tissue and paper towels. Then I have stuff for my dog, Cole. I then have a plethora of Walmart bags. I then have laundry stuff. I have a mop bucket at the bottom as well as things for like emergencies. I like get the lights were to go out. I have um, lights down there, or like flashlights down there for that. Up here, I have two toolboxes. Then I have like all of my candles and smell goods. And then I have a bunch of containers right here that have a bunch of different things in them. This is more like tools, I guess, like smaller things that don't fit inside of this toolbox. I also have one that has games in it. And then I have another one and I honestly don't know what's in there. So we're gonna figure that out together. So then over here, I kind of feel like Vanna White a little bit. So behind door number three, I have a bunch of old bags. Typically I like to save birthday bags. I like to save gift bags just in case I do need to have one at the last minute. Is that weird to say that I saved them because I don't wanna throw them away. I think they're really pretty. So I really need to go through that and pare that down because I'm not celebrating that many birthdays. I also have a random assortment of things in here. I have dog food. And then behind the last door, this is kind of where we kind of grab our stuff and go. So we put our purses and our keys um, in here. I also have some old masks from during the pandemic. And then we have car washing stuff down at the bottom. So you can kind of see that this is a random assortment of things. So I really just want to go through it, kind of tidy things up, get rid of things I don't need. So let's just get into it. 
So I think what my plan of action is going to be is I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to put it on the table and then I'm going to kind of organize it back into the shelves. Um, I think that will kind of make the most sense just so I can see everything for what it is. Um, I do think that I'm probably going to leave the paper towels and the toilet tissue inside because that's not going anywhere. We're not getting rid of that. But everything else, I really just kind of need to take out and decide if I'm keeping it or if I'm throwing it away. So this is everything out of the first cabinet, just minus the toilet tissue and the toilet paper. That's cool. Are you, are you, you have something to say? Okay. So this is everything. And right now I'm seeing that I do need some organization for Cole's things. Right now we just have them in this like cardboard box. So I really need some type of organization for them. I also have a plethora of Walmart bags that I really do not need. I'm a hoarder of bags for some reason. So I really do need to kind of throw them away and start over. Everything else we are kind of needing and using. Like I said, these flashlights are really handy when the lights go out and that does happen quite a bit in Southern Louisiana just because we have hurricanes um, and everything else. Like I said, this is all our laundry stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and get rid of these and then find some better organization for Cole's things. <laughs> Have you guys ever had this issue with cords? Like they're all contained in this like nice box, but I don't know what to do with them. I, I probably have not opened this box in the three years that I've lived here, but I don't want to throw them away because I'm afraid I'm going to need them for something. Like I know this is an HDMI cord, but and I've never used it, but I don't want to throw it away and then we need it. And also like these are expensive. I have a bunch of like iPhone, you know, charging cables, like, what is this for? I don't know what this is for, but I could need it. This little tiny thing. What's this for? I don't know. And so I'm just so afraid that I'm like, I clearly am keeping it for a certain reason, but I just am too scared to throw it away. I don't know. I feel like some of the big stuff I'll keep, but some of the little stuff, if I really can't tell what it's for, if I can't even like identify what it goes to, I think I'm gonna get rid of it. So 
So these are all the cords I'm going to get rid of. I don't really know what all of these are for, but at least they're organized. So this container is all of our like handyman type of stuff that I just don't have a place for. I don't have, you know, a huge toolbox to put them in, but you know, like there's a paint tray and here's some like, I know what this is for, but it's like all messed up. You know, we have like sandpaper and we have like WD-40. I'm just not really sure how to organize all of this stuff. I don't want to have a million little different containers for it all. Like it all fits nicely in here, but it looks like this. So I think I'm going to try to organize this as best as possible, but I can't promise it's going to look pretty. It's not going to look like those, you know, beautiful Pinterest homes where, you know, the WD-40 has its own personalized, you know, container and its own like specialized area to go. Um, I can't guarantee it's going to look nice, but I am going to go through and organize all of this. I think this looks way better than before. Like I said, everything kind of has a place. It's a bit more organized. I kind of threw some things away that I knew I wasn't gonna use. Um, some other things needs a spot, but I do think that this looks way, way better. So this is the last large container that I have and it is full of party games. So I have Taboo, I have like a beer pong game this is like the mat for it um and i don't think i'm gonna get rid of any of these luckily most of my car games are you know pretty organized like even the built the beer pong cups are all stacked together um so i really don't think that any of these need to be given away or thrown away i think that this one luckily is good to go the last thing i need to address is the candle situation now if you are a person that loves candles i have a really hard time getting rid of candles so even candles like this that are like half burned i'm just like i could use this one day when i need to smell like linen blossom i don't know so i'm gonna have to make some hard decisions just and just start to get rid of candles because honestly i go through phases with candles i will absolutely need every single candle in bath and body works and i will burn them all day long and then i will go through a phase where i don't burn candles at all i don't know if you are the same way but i am not a consistent candle girly so what ends up happening is that i acquire a bunch of candles and then I burn them and then I just forget that candles exist for a while. So I have all of these like half burnt candles that I don't end up using for months. So I'm not sure once again, if I should give them away. Like I have some that are probably like a third of a way burned. Um, should I keep them? Should I give them away? I don't know. I'm gonna have to make some tough decisions and just kind of smell them and see if I like the scent or if I just need to go ahead and throw them away. Thank you. 
So these are the candles that I am keeping. I am keeping Mountain Teakwood. I'm keeping this Dr. Teal's aromatherapy candle. I'm keeping this Deep Blue Sea from White Barn. I'm keeping this Frosted Cranberry just because it's a good Christmas candle. I only use it at Christmas. It's a good little like decor piece. And I am keeping this Apple Macchiato. In here, I just have a bunch of other smell goods. So I have wax melts. I have a ton of wax melts. I have lighters for my candles. I also have some sage that I like to burn. Um, I also have a uh, diffuser that I just, I don't even have drops for it, but I really don't want to get rid of it because one day I feel like I'll fall in love with diffusers again. And then should I get rid of it? I feel like I haven't used it in forever. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I think I'm going to just go ahead on and get rid of it. I don't even have like the drops to put in it. So I think it's time for her to go. Um, I also have a long lighter. I don't think this, oh, no, nope, it works. So I can keep that. Um, and then for some reason, I do have a lint roller in here. Um, it's just good for when we're about to walk out the door. But honestly, I don't think the lint roller goes with the candles. So I'm just going to go ahead on and take this out of here. So let's put all of this stuff back into the cabinet. have a random jar of pens they don't know what to do with and that also has coins at the bottom like what do I do with change what do I do with random pens and pencils like these are the things that I just feel bad throwing away it's so hard So these cabinets are already looking a lot better. I am halfway done and I already have a trash bag full of trash of things I am getting rid of. I think everything is a bit more organized. Like I said, we are halfway done and the next thing I need to do is go through all of our gift bags. I know this has a bunch of gift boxes in it. Like these are cute for like gift cards and stuff like that, but I never use this. I don't think I've ever even touched this bag anytime I've given a gift. So I really think I'm just going to give this whole thing away. I'm just gonna throw it away.
So we are almost done. We are basically at the finish line. We only have one more cabinet left and it really does not have a ton of stuff in it. So we are basically at the finish line. I just wanna remind you guys before we get to the last cabinet to subscribe to my channel. It really helps out a small YouTuber like me. If you really don't feel like subscribing, remember you can always support me by liking my videos and commenting. So let's get into the last one and we can finally be done. And with that, we are all done. I think that these cabinets look a whole lot better and we definitely have room to grow. So let's kind of go through each cabinet one by one. So at the top of here, like I said, I kept the toilet paper and the toilet tissue. Then I have all of Cole's leashes. I have trash bags as well as a few Walmart bags, a lot less than we had before. I then have laundry detergent, anything to do with laundry. I also have my iron. And then I have a mop down here as well as some flashlights for if the power does go out. Up here, we have our two toolboxes, our candles and smell goods. And then these three containers, we decluttered and they look a whole lot better. We have one for our games, for game night. We have all of our cords that I don't know what they belong to, but I'm just going to keep them. And then I have all of our extra, you know, fix it around the house handyman type of things. The next cabinet really made the biggest change. I decided to move Cole's things over here because I do have his dog food here. I know typically people store their dog food in a container, but we just keep it in its original packaging. We don't have any issues with it. Up here, I have all of my gift bags, which is like a third of what I had before. And then down here, I just have some pieces and parts that we just like to keep in the house, as well as a fire extinguisher. Over here is quite empty. Up at the top, I have a mismatch of things, but mostly I have things to wash the car. I also have a couple of extra masks and an umbrella. Then we have our bags that we leave out of the door. So I have my purse and things like that. And then the bottom is still room to grow. I also have two huge trash bags over here full of things that we are throwing away. And I have that bag that I just decided to get rid of. I didn't even wanna look inside of it. So I think that is a ton of stuff for just coming out of these cabinets. So with that, we are checking one more thing off of the list for spring cleaning. I am so glad I got these cabinets all organized and we have a ton of room to grow. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I post new videos every single Wednesday, so I will see you guys next week. Bye.